Hello and welcome to a panel discussion on the ongoing precise study of shape sensing robotic assisted bronchoscopy for the biopsy of pulmonary nodules with the ion and the luminal system. My name is Jeffrey Schwartz, Director of Clinical Research and Development at Intuitive. With me today are Dr. Eric Folk from Mass General in Boston, Dr. David Ost from MD Anderson in Houston, and Dr. Michael Pritchett from Pinehurst Medical Center, First Health More Regional Hospital in Pinehurst, North Carolina. Our panelists are experienced users of shape sensing robotic assisted bronchoscopy and clinical investigators in the multicenter precise study. Let's start our discussion with a question for Dr. Folk. Can you describe important aspects of the precise study design? Thank you, Jeffrey, for having me. The precise study is a single arm prospective multicenter study with this shape sensing technology. The participants are experienced bronchoscopists with years uh, of prior bronchoscopic experience. However, the study was started immediately after FDA granted a 510K clearance. And these 11 were exposed cases before they proceeded uh, with the cases that we will be discussing um, in uh, today's abstract. Today you will hear about 69 cases of the total 365 included in the study. The 69 cases are those that we have complete data. I have to say that the 11 included in the study come from both the academic and the community setting in small nodules between 10 and 30 millimeters. Thank you, Dr. Folk. Let's follow that with a question for Dr. Ost. As first author of the 2021 chest abstract with preliminary early performance precise study data, can you walk us through key findings from the cohort of subjects reported in that paper? Uh, certainly, Jeffrey, and uh, thank you for the invitation. So as Eric was saying, these are preliminary findings, and out of the larger study, there were 69 patients. These patients were followed and ultimately, 51 of these 69 patients proved to have cancer. As practicing pulmonologists, what we really care about here is were we able to detect cancer in these 51 patients who ultimately proved to have cancer? So what we care about is sensitivity. The shape sensing robotic bronchoscopy system identified out of these 51 cancer patients, 43 of them with cancer on biopsy. An additional patient on biopsy showed abnormal glandular cells suspicious for adenocarcinoma, and one additional patient showed atypical spindle cells, and that patient ultimately proved to have leiomyosarcoma. So if we take the 43 out of 51 patients who had definitive positive answers, that's a sensitivity of 84%. Uh, in those patients. Now, these are small nodules. As Eric said, these are 10 to 30 millimeters. Indeed, 38 of the 51 patients who had cancer, the nodules were less than or equal to two centimeters. So in these less than or equal to two centimeter lesions, of those 38 patients, 31 were positive using the shape-sensing robotic bronchoscope. That's a sensitivity of 82%. And out of the remaining 13 patients, who were 21 millimeters to 30 millimeters, 12 out of 13 were positive for cancer. So that's a 92% sensitivity. If you add in the patients who have the suspicious cells for adenocarcinoma and the atypical spindle cells in the patient who ultimately proved to have leiomyosarcoma, those numbers become 33 out of 38 for a sensitivity of 87% in patients with nodules less than two centimeters, and 12 out of 13, 92% in those lesions that were from two to three centimeters in size, which is really uh, excellent. There was only one asymptomatic pneumothorax in this small subset, so safety, at least preliminary data, is very, very promising. 
So, Mike, let me expand this. You were the first user, and you're an active bronchoscopist with a big practice in the field. You were the first to use this technology. How has this technology advanced your practice or changed your approach to small peripheral pulmonary nodules? Yeah, uh, that's a good question, and I'm happy to share our experience that we've had thus far. Um, I think that the results that we see in this abstract are really reflective of what we're seeing uh, in general practice. We're, we're always wanting to know if our results are generalizable you know, across academic centers and community centers. For us, what we really want to focus on is those small peripheral nodules. We want to have a lung cancer screening program where we can actually biopsy the very small lesions that we find on lung cancer screening. If we have no way to reliably biopsy small lesions, and accurately biopsy them, then it kind of defeats the purpose somewhat of having you know, a robust lung cancer screening program. So to see these kind of results with an average lesion size of only 17 millimeters in this study, um, but yet still have a robust diagnostic yield, um, that's giving us the confidence by going after smaller and smaller lesions. So it's changed our practice in that we are much more willing to go after more difficult cases and cases that we probably wouldn't have gone after before. Thank you, Mike. I'd like to extend that question to both of you, uh, Eric and David. How, how has this trial results and your experience with shape sensing robotic assisted bronchoscopy, how has that impacted your daily practice and the emphasis in your thoracic oncology programs? David? Well, it's had a tremendous positive impact in our program. Uh, we have many interventional pulmonologists in our group, and for this trial, only two of us performed all the procedures, and while we are all bronchoscopists, we had not used the robot. This was the first in the United States trial, and did not have a lot of experience with the robot going in, but it was fairly easy to pick up. And since the trial, the other interventional pulmonologists have started using it, and they've had the same positive experience. So very well accepted by my colleagues, which speaks to it. Uh, the ease of use, and when combined with other technologies, it's really helped transform it and really move towards our goal of high value care. So a patient can come in from their primary doctor, referral to us, we see the patient, talk it over with them, same day diagnosis and staging complete, go rapidly to whatever treatment is appropriate. So the combination of technologies with shape sensing robotic bronchoscopy for the peripheral nodule part, high value care for us. I would echo what my colleague said. Mm -hmm. uh, we are part of lung nodule, uh, lung cancer screening clinic, and you have to make a trade off there regarding the probability of malignancy, and you're going to find small nodules, but you need to decide if you're going to biopsy or not. And if you're going to biopsy, it better be safe. So safety for me is a, a, a premier point of this technology, as, as we have discussed. After the implementation of the study and when we started having positive results and a rapid learning curve for me and my partner, Dr. Keyes, who also participated of the study, the response in the uh, multidisciplinary conference was very positive. People started seeing the capabilities and started asking for more and more difficult cases, which was obviously a welcome uh, participation as we can provide a bio safe biopsies for these patients with small peripheral pulmonary nodules. All right, thank you, Eric. And thank you to all of our distinguished panelists uh, for summarizing the early results from the PRECISE trial. We look forward to the completion of the PRECISE study and anticipate more results in 2022.